Bambaro the, the attempts to approach down to the OR HQ. The pulling of the Bambaro, by the way, is just the, the YOLO play. Hook's He's got go for it. And no, it. let's rack. He actually goes in. Molot's up, baby up. The Conquish makes it death. a nightmare. The Dino kill him. Yes. Aegis, the Molot's yes. underneath yes. the Fissure. Bone 7 will die. The Aegis in the hands of the Jaro, but maybe is trapped on a hill till the Force Tops come back off cooldown. It was worth a crack. It was worth it. I mean, you should always try for that if you're clockwork in this scenario. Because top tower. Top lane as much as you can. Oh, yeah. Push the top lane as much as you can, and then come back to defend. You know what's gonna happen when someone gets picked off with that. Oh, Envy! The divine. He's going. Dyer's he's keeping BKB and attack. going for divine rapier. He's Radiance pushing with it. Are they gonna do it? They don't want to fight. They want to. They can't do a base trade. They can't do a base trade in this oh, one. He doesn't want to fight. He doesn't have a TP. What? With the this. Go on. He's actually going in. He's gonna take tower and go for the tier fours. We turn him this into a base race. Or LGD just play the defense. They pull back. Yao. Here comes your Laguna play. He's almost dying while they're still ravaging the bottom lane. Vayner trying to run out. They're taking. Get out bottom racks. Envy's gonna go to work right now. LGD, where Dyer's are your TPs? Barracks. How are you coming back? Silas on the first TP out. It's actually a racks for a racks. And Bone 7, there's his TP out. He'll be successful, and Envy actually gets away to safety. They buy space and get a trading racks. What is this? They buy space by buying <laughs> extremely important. We've done this previously. So round two for LGD. Fissure, Sila, Chloe, they force arc him in. Lacuna Blade, Sila, falls so deep in, but remember, he's got the Titanic and he's using it, but how much life? You guys got another jump, it was a clock, we'll keep you the rest of LGD out, but maybe he fades her into the grave. Sila finally brought down by the Fable of Misery, but the Aegis Immortal will bring him back to the world of the living, and they continue to fight far back in from the leader. Here comes the Tower Levy, the damage on Sila. How much work are you doing for Mini Bashers? They bring him back, maybe as well. A Mini Bash on him, he's so low, the Mad Boy. He's got full mana, so it won't work, but they get the kill. The SM's down for the Count Ecclesia. Jump in from Yao, the Double Sun, Big Daddy, so it won't fade. As well, the black belt is running around the damage now. Envy turned into a chicken. Zhao Wei getting stunned up. Vader from the low ground doing the work. Now they move over to Sila on the run out of here. Oh, they're they're getting in mana. They have another stun. No, the Radiant's light striker is going to miss. Chase and turn Levy can jump. Mana boy is available. They may just need it to actually control him for a moment. Blink in one second time. Is he going to find him? Yeah, oh. he jumps the wrong way. He's running down, not up. Yeah, but that's amazing though. What a fight. Woo. Can I just call out? what an MVP misery was in that fight. He played so good. He shut in the enemy in his base, shut out four enemy heroes so that they could not come in and help with that first Fisher. And then later on in the fight, a Fisher that's done four heroes as well, allowing misery or uh, envy to just hit everyone. Where are you going, Envy? Beautiful. Does uh, he have damage? Backdoor? He does. Top there, back door. Okay, yeah. yes. The answer is yes. He can battle the backdoor regeneration. He'll Dyer's take a range rack and spawned. then blink away. Uh, the rocket's gonna connect, but there's no real follow-up because it's only Sila left, and you've also Vayne got. Is respawning. You have to respect that. This is the point too where LGD have to understand that yeah. they need to be able to hit a lot harder, a lot faster. And I think oh, Sila is is Double looking at like either like what is it, Deadless or Rapier? Like these are his only two choices to remain. Yeah, I think so. He needs to go more damage. He needs to just go straight into Divine. I think. Yeah. Just counter Divine to with Divine. Uh, so, it's probably the only thing you can do because imagine what Ruben's going to do when you've got a rapier over the Envy. Oh, he got a double damage rune. And he's actually going to come in. They're going to come in. There's four case of bundle here for LGD. And with them all together, Dyer's they're going to beat through and back all the racks. Fortification comes. This opens up for, for future <laughs> opportunities. Oh, he's, 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 he's just over that. He's Fisher. It stops Bone 7. Yeah, they caught Bone 7. Maybe they can catch up. They have a lot of stuff he's like Force Tap. Echo Slam. Might have wanted to wait till the yeah. Creek Wave was there. There's no feature available with Rockets. Bone 7's dead. He's just sacrifice. Yep. They forced out a Glyph, traded for Bone 7. Yep, worth it. Look at the bottom lane. The Creek Wave is pushing in so heavily. This is the C9 advantage lane, and LGD have to come back to defend this. Either that, or you're going for a GG push. You need one more. What, what would you do? Sell the Battle Fury for a second Rapier? Sure. Oh, no. top lane. They're trying to set up the Hex. Blinking yeah, um, in, Fiskrip. This be it. They need support. Clockwork moves the hook shot. Misery's the neighborhood. And Envy, what? he's the dropped here. He's Jeez. down. He is gone. The Rapier is on the deck and in the hands of the Shadow Fiend. He'll lose his butterfly for it. He uses BKB. It's almost worth holding on to that butterfly. Yeah. And now, where's the extra support? The Echo Slam. They managed to find another one. It's the Rubik down for the count. This could be the moment. The SF is dishing out almost 700 damage a pop. Yeah, he's hitting so hard. That Daedalus is just crazy. He has the Moonshire as well, of course, so his attack speed is decent despite dropping the Butterfly. This Radiant's is the moment. Oh, this is the day. Under attack. 
They shouldn't get too into about this Rax. Rax doesn't mean that much. It's just about how we take the fight. They're trying to be safe. Yeah. They're just trying to be safe. Keeping, yeah, they're trying to whip it for Envy, but it's 30 seconds. It's a long time. Envy won't buy back unless they contest the third Rax or they go for T4 Towers. And he'll always wait until Cloud don't initiate. He will have to, though. Radiance uh, top tower is They're gonna attack. mega creep them if he doesn't buy back. Yep. But they're going full now. They're looking for it. Here they come. Misery jumps in, picks up maybe fame in the PK. Hey, look at the blade one, look at the blade two. Maybe dropping low. They want the radium yes. back and tell him. Look at his son! He's down! He's down! Back in the GG! They've lost everything! It's four, almost five, and GG! LGD will 2 0 cloud nine in a very intense. Radiance middle tower. A very is intense game LGD. too. That has to be one of the most emotional Ooh. losses. The dream was so real, they could touch it, Toby, they could taste it. But that means that in the LGD versus C9, LGD 2-0 taking three points. What a game. Team. What a game to play. Cloud9, LGD, they get the big points. Love them for it. We'll get to have ourselves a breather as I know you're going to be back.